They say text hooks are very important. I'm sure you have seen this one, right? But how can a hook bring results when everyone is using it? That's why today we'll make something fresh. This. No fusion page, no massing, no color grading, free version of Resolve, let's go. First thing to do is to make it possible to see the clip through the text. Put your clip on the second track, go to Effects, Titles, and add Text Plus below your clip. Adjust the length of your text if you want to. After that, cut your clip where the text ends. Click on the first part and open the inspector. Go down to Composite and change the mode to Dark. Since we are doing more than just a zoom in, we'll need effects. So select both clips and create a compound clip. Disable the second track for a bit. Go to Text Plus and write anything in uppercase letters. Best option are short words with bigger letters in the middle, but pretty much anything works. Select a big font, or just use any font with extra bold setting if possible. I chose Rockville Extra Bold font. Increase size until the text fills the screen. If the size is max and you still want text to be bigger, go to settings and increase zoom value. Increase tracking if you want to add some spacing between the letters. But it's best to not make it too big. To create the zoom in effect, go back to settings and scroll down to dynamic zoom. Turn it on. Go right here, click this button and select dynamic zoom. In settings, click swap. Select one of the red square points and resize it. If the borders are still on the black parts and you don't want to make it smaller, you can select the dot in the center and relocate it. Now click here again to turn off this window. Just like this, we have the zoom in. To create writing effect, go to title and at the very bottom at the start of text plus, add a keyframe on write on. Set it to zero. Go to the middle of text plus and add another write on keyframe. Set it to one. Now the text writes slowly. Let's make the text more interesting. Select text plus again and go to settings. At the start, add keyframes for pitch and yaw. At the end, add keyframes for both again, but decrease the pitch and increase the yaw. By doing this, we will make the effect more 3D. Your typical fly through effect just flies through. We'll make it better. Let's add some impact. Enable the second track, go to effects, select resolve effects. Search for camera shake and drag it on your compound clip. Change speed scale to 0.4. Motion Blur to 0.3. Add a keyframe for motion scale before the middle of Text Plus and set it to 0. Add another keyframe at the end of Text Plus and increase motion scale to 1.3. Halfway to the end of your compound clip, add another keyframe and set motion scale to 0. The difference is clearly visible and the effect feels way more alive. Let's take it even further. Go back to Effects, Resolve Effects, and add Gaussian Blur. Check Split Horizontal and Vertical Box. Add keyframes at the same spot as Motion Scale for both Horizontal and Vertical Strength. Set the Horizontal Strength to 0.6 and leave Vertical Strength at 0.4. Keyframe them at the end of Text Plus and set both to 0. Open Spline, select all the keyframes, select Ease In and Out. Now when we get closer, the video gets in focus. I think it's a really nice detail. So, the fly through looks great, but the borders could use some more work. Go back to effects, resolve effects, and add a zoom blur on text plus. Before the middle of text plus, add a keyframe for zoom amount and set it to zero. At the end of text plus, add another keyframe and set zoom amount to one. Now the borders look like they are trying to drag us into the clip, which adds more depth to the effect. One more detail to make the borders more 3D. Go to Effects and Resolve Effects again. Search for Waviness. If you can't find it, click these three dots and select Show Legacy Resolve Effects. Add Waviness on your text plus. Make sure that Waviness type is set to Vertical. Change Scale to 15. Uncheck Animate. Change Phase as needed. Add the same keyframe as Zoom Blur for Strength and set it to 0. Then, at the end of Text Plus, add another keyframe and set Strength to 20. 
open spline, select all the keyframes, select ease in and out. So instead of the basic version, we have this. One more thing. If you get any white borders or lines in your clip, this can be caused by bigger values for camera shake and text plus size. So simply adjust them and the issue should go away. Subscribe for more. Goodbye.